One of the towering great achievements of the human mind and our understanding of the universe is Einstein's theories of relativity. It's actually, the tenets of it are quite simple, almost scary simple. It makes only two assumptions, that the speed of light in a vacuum is constant no matter who is doing the measurement and no matter what direction you are moving or how fast. You'll always get the same measurement for the speed of light. That's assumption one, which by the way, experiment has shown to be true. Assumption two, that the laws of physics as you measure them are the same for every observer who would be doing the measuring. Provided you are on a vessel that's either moving at a constant speed or not moving at all. Those are the only two tenets that you have to buy into. And all experiments have shown that both of those two tenets are correct. Given those two tenets, extraordinary spooky phenomenon derived from them. For example, as you travel faster, or if you find yourself in the vicinity of a higher source of gravity, time ticks more slowly for you than it does for other people who are not. It's not just your clock, it's everything about you and your environment slows down. You don't notice this because everything is slowing down, including your neurosynaptic thought rate. So it goes unnoticed to you, but it's patently obvious to everybody else observing you. And this leads us to the famous twin paradox. So here's how it works. Let me get a pair of twins, all right? They're born the same time, they're the same age. And now one of them I will send off at 90% the speed of light. And the other I'll keep down here on Earth. So we can ask, how, does their how, how, how do their aging rates compare? Okay, turns out this twin that I've already sent, his clock ticks 44% as fast as this twin's clock, our clock here on Earth. So this twin is aging more slowly than this one. That's at 90% the speed of light. Let's pump it up some more. How about 99% the speed of light? Now the time ticks at only 14% the rate as it does back here on Earth. How about 99.9%? We're getting closer and closer to the speed of light itself. And at that speed, the clock ticks only 4.5% as fast. So, what does this mean? I'll tell you what it means. This twin that travels for five years and comes back, if they went at 99.9% .9 the speed of light, after five years, they're five years older, we have aged 110 years. It's called the twin paradox. It's only a paradox if you think about it in sort of classical terms. How could that be? But in relativity, there is no paradox at all. That is a fundamental feature of what happens when all you do is presume that the speed of light is the same for everybody and the laws of physics remain constant.